Hello viewers, during this video session, I'm going to be showing us the configuration requirements for using Cisco Identity Services Engine as a TACAC server for iOS devices. So as you can see on the screen, this is my eyes instance and I'm running version 2.4 as can be seen on the screen. And this is my router, my iOS router, which we are going to use for demonstration, which I will use for demonstration. And so quickly, let me go to administration, external identity sources. I've already integrated this as deployment with my active directory. As you can see it here. And I've already pulled two groups that are from the Active Directory. We have a Device Super Admin and we have Device Monitor Admin. So these are the two groups that we are going to reference in our configuration. So quickly, let me go to Work Center. I'm from, okay, before then, okay, let me just go straight to Work Center Device Administration. And let me start from here, network resources. Let me come, uh, let me go to network device groups. I want to add, um, let me add a location. Let me call it techwise. And the parent group is going to be all locations. I'm going to save. And I want to add device types. I'm going to add router. I'm going to name this router and it's going to be under the parent group of all device types. I'm going to save. I'm going to do another for switch. It's going to be under the parent group of all device types. I'm going to save. I'm going to do another one for firewall. And it's going to be under the parent group of all device types. And I'm going to save. And after then I move to network devices. Now I want to add my network device to highs. So this is the network device, the router. Show IP interface brief. Okay, the ID is the IP address 192.168.15p.3. And that's the IP address to which uh, that um, transactions will be sourced from. So let me just name it R1 and its description. Let me just call the router. The IP address 192.168.153.3. Okay, uh, model name, I'll leave that. You can name it model name software version. Location, let me say techwise. It has a location. Device type is going to be router. Because we may need that during our configuration. So we are dealing with tax here. So the share secret, I'm just going to use Cisco. And you can see from here, that is Cisco. And I'm going to come down. And I'm going to, so I'm going to submit. Okay, that has, I've added the network device to ICE. So the next thing for me to do, let me go to policy elements, let me come to results. So I'm going to configure TACA command set and TACA profile. For command set, I'm going to say, just a super admin. Okay, permit any command that is not listed below. So that's going to permit all command. So I'm going to add another one. Monitor admin. And I'm going to permit show. Okay, let me just permit show. So any command that starts with show will be allowed. So I'm going to submit. 
and i'll come to tax profile also i'll create profile for super admin and for monitor admin i'm going to do hard super admin for super admin i'm gonna see the default okay let me just start from here let me see if default is 15 and max maximum privilege is 15 we may have to change it later just for demonstration purpose but just follow me so i'm going to save name is already used for transition result okay okay let me do this let me put space i've used the name uh, on that tax command set okay that's fine and i'm going to create for monitor admin also create it for super admin monitor admin default privilege i'm just going to make it five maximum privilege i'm going to make it five also and i'm going to save i mean submit rather so i've created my profile and i've created my command sets so the next thing let me go to device admin policy sets now this i'm going to create my policy sets let me name the policy sets let me just say techwise Routers and I will see if device type cross router also had another condition like I also see and if device location equals takewise like, like I created the layer on, on that network device group so i'm going to use that so the protocol is we are going to use default device admin here yeah. and i'm going to see if so that's going to be my policy set so let me expand the policy set now come over to authentication policy okay for the authentication okay let me just give you as authentication rule one and like for authentication okay i can just see if device type is router let me just use it as a condition but then don't forget for the policy states we use two conditions we save device type is router and needs the device location is stepwise so for any takax transaction to eat this particular policy set that means the device type must be router must be set to router and the device locations we sent to take, take must be set to take wise i did that on that network device when i was adding the network resource the network the router as a network device on the high so that has been specified so definitely my router is going to hit this policy set it's going to come here this authentication with the condition if it's router fine that's enough for now and it's going to use our identity and identity store ad the ad which are integrated to this size instance that's tech wise so that's what i'm going to select so it's going to authenticate the user using the active directory so for this default i'm just going to change it to deny access and now come down to authorization policy i'm going to set two conditions here one is going to be super administrator and for super administrator i'm going to use this condition if device type is router i'm going to add another condition i'm going to say if um not that takewise that's my active directory 
if Tequa is external groups, external groups equals super admin. So that means if the user, the authenticated user is the authenticated user belongs to this group on the Active Directory, super admin. Then it's going to be, then this command set will be applied. Super admin command set and this shell profile also which will be super admin i'm going to duplicate this rule below i'm going to name this monitor monitoring administrator so device type is router but the group is going to change person belongs to this group so we are going to give the person monitor admin command sets and monitor admin shell profile so i think that's pretty good so i've configured policy authentication and i've configured policy for super administrator and for monitoring administrator so i'm going to save that being said and done i think we are pretty much okay so i'm going to bring up my router so here's my router so let me just configure username cisco password Cisco and let me do IP domain name domain name that will be techwise.local it's my domain name so I'm going to do crypto key generate RSA let me use one out of four bits Okay, so I can now SSH to this device. So now let me I prepare the router for SSH. So now let me configure my TACAC server to enable AAA. So afterwards, do my TACAC server. Just gonna name it ICE. um okay address ipv4 the ice address that's going to be one nine two one six eight dot one five three dot ninety five yep that's at ninety five and the key just like we specified when we're adding the router to ice specify the key of cisco So a valid attack server, another thing I need to okay, I need to do the A group. A group server and that will be TACAX plus, I suppose. I'll just name it nice also. And server name, the server name that is going to be TACAX server that I created, which is ICE. This is the server name, ICE. I see. So the same that I'm going to use here also. Server name eyes. So that'll be it. So now I'm going to a, a, a authentication login default group attacks plus that'll be local, that'll be the fallback. Also have a, a, a authentication enable default group attacks also that will be local. Um, no 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 for enable okay that should be enabled that will fall back 
And mind you, I have not created enable password on this router. So I'll just do enable secret and make that Cisco as well. So I can have fall back for enable. Um, so we, I want to leave the authorization command for now. Let me go to a, let me do accounting accounting exec the default start stop have a tax plus the accounting which other one okay accounting command Accounting. Okay, accounting commands. A accounting commands to do one default. Now we start stop group attacks plus. And I'm going to do it for 15 also. For 15. Let me do that. And now I'm yet to do the A configuration for authorization. I always love to leave it to do that after I've confirmed that at least the authentication is working. Because if you put the command transition commands, uh, transition commands now, and maybe your configuration the assumption which is not working, then you can't enter any command on this router again. So command transition will fail you, so you can't do anything. So I always prefer to confirm the authentication is working, then I can move to uh, command transition. So I'm just gonna bring up my booty. So let me try and access the router 192.168. This is my router 153.3. So what is wrong? Show IP of this brief. Connection timed out. What's happening? Restart session. Oh, fine. So, yes. And I'm going to log in as a super admin. So, super admin. That account has been created on the Active Directory. And I'm going to put the password. Oh, that's fine. Enable. Oh, that, that's cool. So quickly, let me come to eyes. Um, operation, radius, live logs. Okay, you can see this is my login. It's my new login. Authentication pass. Equalizer authentication authentication one super admin, username, super admin, and just like that. Okay back to this if there is need so let me quickly go back to my router um, let me complete my a configuration um that case i'm going to do i have not done a, a, a authorization okay a authorization commands one default group attacks plus or local if authenticated okay and i'm going to do for 15 also for 15 also and then there should still be one more um, you would have 
עמדה שביעית. Think that should be hit. So let me come here. Let me duplicate session. So I'll just close this so that it's underneath. Super admin. And I'm going to log in. Enable. And yeah, what do we have here? Show privilege. Okay, enable. Uh, now I'm going to see admin one, two, three. Okay, show privilege. Now privilege 15. So I can get to my Clover config. Okay, that's fine. So there's so much thing now to show us. Like now, if you see, we logged in. And after logging in, it, it takes me to the uh, privilege menu. You have to do enable. So now I want to avoid that enable. So I want to avoid the entering uh, enable, having to enter the password again before going to enable so in order for me to achieve this like let me just do this again so we can get what i'm saying so i'm going to do super admin and i'm going to do admin as a password yes so now before i go to the privilege mode i have to do enable which i don't want and i have to enter the password again so I want to take this stage off. So that's so in order to achieve that, I will just say A A A authorization exec default group attack plus and okay we'll for back to local if authenticated. So with this now. Let me duplicate the session. Okay, now I have super admin. And I'm going to add a password. You can see it doesn't give me that prompt again, so I don't need to do enable and enter the password again. So that's what this command can do for you. Now, but it's also depended on one thing. Now let me show us show run a e e. Oh sorry about that. Show run a e e. Now this is that command. So with this command, you don't need to do enable and enter the password again before we get to the privilege mode. So we, we don't need that. But this command it works for us fine. But it's going to Keep working on one condition. Close that now. Um, we show us that now. Mm, okay, I'm gonna come here. Administration. Let me come to my work center. Um, yeah, profile. There's my super admin. Edit. I'm going to change this default privilege to one. So this is the catch. If I change this default privilege to one, even with that command, with the command of the authorization exec default, whatever, I'm still going to have to enter enable. 
So let me go back here. Do it again to PK session. Super admin. So put in the password. You can see it's giving me that prompt again. So enable. We want to do that my password. So that's it. So now I'm going to change it back. I'm just going to edit it. I'm going to change back to 15. So default 15, maximum 15. So with that, my command will work. With that, I'm going to feel the effect of this command. So then this command will work for us. So I'm just going to duplicate the session. Super admin and the password. So you can see that. So that is that. So now let me log in as a monitoring admin. So monitor admin. And I'm going to enter the password. Ooh. Okay, fine. Let me show privilege. It should be five or so. Privilege five. So I can do my show command. Should I print off his brief? But I can get to I can get to global configuration mode because that command is not allowed. So that's going to be all. But let me also take us to operation tax life logs so we can see the logs here hey this is the first login as a monitor admin i think i entered wrong password you can see the authentication gets active that refuses it has entered the wrong password so because of wrong password i couldn't log in so i have to enter the password again which after we, which after that, I was able to log in, you can see I pass authentication now. And if you come here, after that, I have authorization. So you can see session authorization succeeded. Let me come here. And here you can see the command that I entered. So IP interface brief. So another thing you could think can do, you can come to reports, you can come to reports here under device administration, TACAX authorization. So you can pretty much see my command arguments here, the command set which I matched, the commands which I entered, you can see all of them there. So you can always get that report. So this is command accounting also, monitor admin. This is the command it, I entered, show. And this is the command argument, type interface brief. As a super admin, you can see, show, I entered show, and the argument is run AA, so show running config AA. So you can have the details of all the commands that each device administration, all the command implemented on the router, you can get the details from here. You can export it as PDF. You can export it uh, in, in, in Excel sheet. So whichever way you want. So you can always do that. So I think that will be the end. I don't think there's any other thing I want to show us. So that will be the end. So basically, if you want to do the same thing, if you want to do the same thing for, uh, for switch, Router and switch basically is the same TACAX, uh, basically, is the same TACAX command that I'm going to need for the two. So, this command is also applicable to an IA switch. I'm going to release another video in which I'm going to take us through how to do that of firewall. So, I want to thank you for watching this video.